Hello everyone, I'm Cleo Woods. Today's presentation is the vision of our leader, Lady Frances Swinney. Her vision was a dramatization telling the story of Jesus, his birth, his life, and the gift he gave to all. Her desire was to also see the involvement of our BCA youth. The assignment to carry out the vision was placed in the hands of Creative Praise Drama Ministry led by Evelyn McCray and Sheila O'Kelly with special assistance from Carolyn Kirkland. The result of their writing, directing, and hard work in collaboration with BCA's media ministry resulted in today's presentation, The Story Behind the Gift. Creative Praise Drama Ministry would like to especially thank BCA Media Ministry, William O'Kelly, and those assisting him, Cleo Woods and Ricky Richardson, for the videography and editing. Many thanks go to the parents and guardians of our children for ensuring that they learned their lines and were in place for recording. The youth should be admonished for being an active part of ministry and using their talents for work in the kingdom. Also, Thank you, Michelle and Smiley Capers, for opening your home and allowing us to use your property to film portions of this production. Last but not least, thank you to our leaders, Pastor Jerry and Lady Frances Winnie, for their support and the opportunity to serve the members and supporters of the BCA ministry. So now, sit back and enjoy this wonderful presentation from Creative Praise Drama Ministry. The story behind the gift. Oh, it's more than lights, it's more than a tree, more than the presence underneath. It's not just a feeling, it's not just a season It's hope for the broken in a world that needs healing Cause Jesus has come, let's welcome the King Lift up your voice with me and sing Hello, you guys. Hey, guys. How was school? Good. Cool. Y'all ready for the holiday start? Yes, sir. Man, we almost there. We yes, almost we there. Yes, yes, we are. Yes, it's going by fast. Yes, it yes, is. It is. Yes, it is. I'm glad y'all finished up. The school year strong. For them this part of the school year, yes, it is. 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 I hope that they bought us lots of presents, candy, and soda. Don't go in there asking for nothing. I hope they bought us an Xbox, bike, remote control, dinosaur, and some money. Didn't I just say, don't go Come in there on, asking for man. nothing? Well, just ask them when our parents leave. I heard that, Zola. You heard what we said. Don't ask for anything when you go in here. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, yes ma'am. How was your day? It was good. All right, we love y'all. Love, love you, too. Have fun. Talk to y'all later. Talk to you later. Hey, listen. Listen, one more time. Don't ask for anything. Matter of fact, wait for your cousins. They'll be here in a second. Yes, sir. Don't push. Go ahead, hit it. All right, y'all. All right, children. Remember what I told you all, okay? Yes. What your father and I told you to do what? Right thing. Choose to do the what? Right thing. One more time. Right thing. All right. Woo, woo, woo. Um, and do not ask your grandparents for anything, okay? Nothing. My grandpa got me a new motorbike. A motorbike? Didn't I tell you ask your grandparents for nothing? I know all the places in there, all the hiding places in their house. I can find them. I know where they are, they're in the closet. Listen, listen. 
didn't your father and I tell y'all do not ask your grandparents for anything? But what do we say if they already bought the presents and we find them? Let's just ask. I, I heard that, Olivia. I heard that. I heard what you said. All right, remember what I said, right? Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, y'all. All right, y'all go ahead and hurry up and get out. Be careful. Oh, no. I'll put your coat on. They got it? No, they said we're not supposed to. Son, get your coat, please. It's cold outside. Don't slam my door. All right, y'all listen. Hey, 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 listen, listen. Do not ask your grandparents for anything. You hear me? Do you hear me? All right, be good. I'll be late picking y'all up, okay? All right, later. Yeah, let them kids out there. I hear them out there. Your grandkids out there. They okay. Know they know get the door, Brian. Get the door? Girl, you know how long it took me to get comfortable. Brian, the get the door. I'm hey, on the phone. I'm going to get the door. Come on in. It's open. Oh, look at here. Look at here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, be careful now. Hold on. Don't Okay, okay, all right. So look, come on over here. Give me. Okay. Hey, oh, oh, it seems like it, it was just last week. Oh, yes, pick up these coats. Uh, and that was Loretta. She had to circle back around and get to Leah and Olivia something about the school. So, how have y'all been oh. doing? Good. It really has. Y'all just saying good. Y'all been doing your studies and your homework? Yes. Oliver? How's your grades? Good. Okay, okay. So y'all been working on your Christmas play? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay. Grandma, Grandpa, do y'all have any Christmas presents? Christmas presents? Who said anything about Christmas presents? Zola, you heard what Mom and Dad said. She means Christmas presents for other people. Christmas presents for other people like who? Other people like us. Mm. Other people like what? So, why do we have to buy y'all Christmas presents? Because you love us very, 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 very much. Well, we do love you yeah, very, love very, you. very, very much. But we normally just buy Christmas, birthday presents for y'all, not Christmas presents. Mm -hmm. Who said anything about Christmas presents? You're right. But you still need to get us presents. <laughs> you might be right on that, although. I might have to give you that one. But why do people buy presents on Christmas, especially when it's not their birthday. Whose birthday is it anyway on Christmas? Well, it could be other people's birthday on Christmas, but most importantly, it's Jesus' birthday. Leilani, that's absolutely correct. And me and your grandpapa's been talking about some things, and I think we're going to change up some stuff regarding Christmas this year. Some changes coming in this house. Mm -hmm. The way Ch we celebrate Christmas. Change it up, Papa. Now, we all know <laughs> December 25th is the day they honor Jesus for being born. Now, we don't actually know that was the day he was born. But the most important thing is that he was born. That's why we celebrate, because he was born. Yes, and his birth was so miraculous. Do you guys know that? He had a mother named Mary, and his father was God. And you know what happened? An angel by the name of Gabriel told Mary about all that was going to happen. And she was scared because this angel just appeared out of nowhere and said that the Holy Spirit was going to come upon her and she was going to give birth to the Messiah. That is so awesome. Everything inside me cries for order Everything inside me wants to hide 
Is a shadow an angel or a warrior? If God is pleased with me, why am I so terrified? Someone tell me I am only dreaming. Somehow help me see with heaven's eyes. And before my head agrees, my heart is on its knees. Holy is He. Blessed am I, people. Let me share some history with y'all. Y'all know Mary, right? Mary was supposed to be marrying a young man by the name of Joseph. But when Joseph found out that Mary was going to have a baby, he was a little bit upset. He was confused because he didn't know how that happened. But you know what? Joseph really loved Mary. So he didn't want anything that would bring any type of shame on her. So let me tell you what he did. He was going to figure out he was going to fix this. So one night, he had a dream. And in that dream, this angel spoke to him. Joseph, son of David, take Mary as your wife. Because the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit has made Mary pregnant. And she's going to have a, a baby boy. And when she has that baby boy, you know what the angel told him to do? He said, name that baby Jesus. And when Joseph woke up, you know what Joseph did? He did just that. He went and got married to Mary. And when the baby was born, they named him Jesus. God saves. That's what Jesus names me. Because he's going to save his people from their sins. Ain't that something? Hmm. That is something. And Jesus was such a beautiful, beautiful baby. I mean, I just wish I was there. Now, we don't hear too much more about Jesus as a little boy, but the Bible tells us yes. that he grew in spirit, was strong, a strong young man. Yes, he was. And the, wisdom he was of God, and the grace of God was upon him. Now, Jesus was Jewish. So his parents would have taught him all about the traditions of the Jews, all the requirements. He would have studied the scriptures and would have learned and studied this from a young age. Now, when he was about, I think it was about 12 years old. 12, yes, that's right. Jesus and his family went to Jerusalem to celebrate Feast of the Passover. Now, the Feast of the Passover was very important. It's an important feast. I'll tell you all about that a little later on. That was a good one. But they went and they celebrated the, the feast of the Passover in Jerusalem. And when they got ready to go home, somehow Jesus was left behind in Jerusalem. How did they get left behind? How did he get left behind? How did they not notice? Could they just like turn around? Did he just leave by himself?
Enter. Shalom, Rabbi Caleb. Shalom, lad. May I come in? Please come in and have a seat. My name is Jesus, Rabbi Caleb. I have a question. You may ask. How do you interpret the prophecy by the great prophet Isaiah? May okay. I read it? Please do. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Lad, this prophecy is about a child who will be born, and the government will be upon his shoulders and he will be called by titles that can only be attributed to God himself. He will be the anticipated Messiah. Do you think this prophecy will be seen soon? Very good question. This prophecy was written over 700 years ago. I can't say exactly when, but I do know it's going to happen because he's going to be born, just like Isaiah prophesied, of a virgin. And the government will be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And he will reign forever. Rabbi Caleb, I do believe it will be sooner than you think. How old are you? I'm 12. Where are your parents? They're here. Okay. Well, let's see. Enter. Shalom. Shalom, Rabbi. Shalom. Jesus, why have you done this to us? We've been looking for you everywhere. Why would you worry me and your mother like this? Shalom, Rabbi Caleb and Toto Shalom. Rabbi. Why did you come searching for me? You know I am about my father's business. Come on. Let's go, Jesus. Come. Yep, that is absolutely true. And Jesus' parents, after all that happened, had no idea what, he, what they were talking about. But Mary again, the mother of Jesus, held fast to what the angel was telling her. So what happened is they all went back to Nazareth where they lived. And from that point, Jesus didn't go wandering off anymore. Right? He didn't go. He, he was an obedient. He stayed an obedient child from that moment on. That's why I he think, that's why I think God, yeah. He never God made a bad mistake. Yes. He, over the world. And also in my Bible, 
I saw, I read that he made everything in this world. He made the sky, the animals, everything. Yep, he did. And Mary remembered everything that the angel always would have told her about what her the son angel. was going to do. So when they were there and when they went back to living in Nazareth, and like I said, Jesus didn't wander off for anything. He eventually, guess what, grew up he, into a young man. He and did he a whole grew lot up miraculous Yes, he did. He and grew I, up in in regular body form and, in the natural and but he in was the spirit. Spiritual. That's and right. I, and in the I spirit. spirit. So, so spiritual. he was able to bless a lot of people. And like he was the, blessed by people as like well. Like the woman, like the and woman I, that was wounded and was bleeding. Yes. She was bleeding for 12 years. Yes. And she she thought that if she just touched him, because she could, I think, she she could see that she, he could do stuff because he saw, she saw that he blessed a whole lot of people. Yeah, and she and believed she just, that she, she could be crawled, healed. She crawled in the crowd. And she touched Jesus. The hem. And the hem of the his hem, garment. The hem of his yes, garment. Yes, she did. So, and she thought that that was going to help, and it did. And it and did. And she got healed, and then Jesus was But like, why did she get healed, do you know? Because... Because she believed. That's right. That's right, Mom. She believed. believed. That's, that's, right. that, that's my grandson. That's right. Okay. And I was like, yeah, yeah. There was one. I love there it. There was a man that was sitting on the rock, and he was bald to Adam. That is. Oh my God. You are. You guys. Y'all yeah. are impressing me. I am I so impressed. I got, I got one for you. Let yeah. me see. Now, let me see. Who can tell me what the first miracle was? Jesus turned water into wine. Jesus turned water into wine. All right, That's now. Why I'm That's right. it. Yeah, yeah. That is, that is right. Jesus That's is right. That's right. That is right. What else? What else? Simone, isn't this wedding beautiful? Yes, it is. It is indeed a wonderful occasion for our family. Yes, I am so excited to be here and to celebrate on this beautiful day. Yes, it is. It is beautiful. Shalom, Look at mother. It. Shalom, mother. Oh, sh shalom, son. Shalom, Simon. Shalom. Oh, it's so good to see you. How was your travel? It was well. It was well. Wonderful, was well. wonderful. Such a wonderful day for a wedding. Shalom, sir. I tell you. Uh, yeah. Is everything well? I was just told we're out of wine. Jesus, I need to speak with you. Yes, Mother. Jesus, there is no more wine. Can you please help? What have I to do with thee? My hour is not come yet. But yes, Mother. Yes, Mother. Yes, Thank mother. you. Go with him. And whatever he tells you to do, do it. Yes, it'll be okay. It will be well. It will be well. Yes. It will be well. It will be well. Yes. It's still going to be beautiful. Yes. He fed thousands of people with little fish and bread. And with the little fish and bread. Yes, he did. He fed thousands of people. He said, Won't we do it? Yes, yes he he will. Will. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you I can hit that. Uh, I'm, I'm so hungry. hungry. You guys said that at Go the same time. It's really cold. Yeah. I, know, right? I hope we have something really so? good for dinner. Yeah, like or, fish. Yeah. Or I have a robot. Oh, yeah. I'm so. Ugh, my stomach is rumbling so loud. Mine is louder, <laughs> though. Why do I go so bad? Hey. <laughs> What's that basket for? My lunch. What's in it? Two f fish and bread. 
I am so hungry. How many fish? Two fish. That's not enough for all of us. That's why it's my lunch. M-I. The I stands for me. That's not how you spell my. Well, that's how I spell it. Well, how about we could split it off for all six of us? Well, I'm hungry too, and we need and we need more fish for all of us to eat. Your oh, oh, looks of all y'all need a little few pounds. I'll pound you to the ground. Hey, you two stop and break it up. You're always going at each other. Where are we going to buy bread for all these people to eat? Master, it would take more than a half year of wage to buy bread for each one to get a bite. But we, we won't send them away. Well, the only food I've seen is a small lad with two small fishes and five loaves of bread. Go find them and bring them to me. Hey, is that one of the disciples coming to us? Well, I'm not here. I'm big trouble now. No, I am not. Lad, the master wishes to speak with you. See? Probably because you won't share. Shh, be quiet. The master just has a question for you. I think that's cool. He's definitely in trouble. Yeah. I wonder what's going to happen to him. Am I in trouble? Is no, you're not in trouble. Just answer this question. But, he, but I don't know. Shh. Shalom, lad. Shalom, master. There are many people that need to be fed today. May I borrow your basket? But I only have two fish and five pieces of bread. That'll be plenty. Am I going to get my basket back? In more ways than you can imagine. Sure. The oh, wrong way. Don't see what no. to He's right. always in trouble. He never He's shares. Probably in trouble again. Yeah. yeah. He probably got He's in trouble. Always. But what did the disciples so do? What though? did he say? What did he say? You're in trouble, huh? No, I'm not. I gave him my lunch. You gave him our food. What are we gonna eat now? Shh, That's why just it was be quiet. my lunch. Gosh, y'all are always hungry. It's not me, it's my stomach. Well, tell your stomach to relax then. Well, what are they gonna do with the lunch? Hey, look, where'd they get all that fish and bread from? I don't know. I am so full. Me too. That was really good. That was so good. And they had 12 baskets of leftover bread. Yay, all because of my two fish and five pieces of bread. At least he got to eat though. Yeah. Hey, that was so good. Let me tell you, it was so good. Okay, it was I delicious. think we get it now. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Jesus performed a lot of miracles in his time. And he had a lot of disciples. Uh -huh. But the religious leaders during Jesus' time, they didn't like him. Mm -hmm. They didn't like Jesus because Jesus could see their heart. They knew the law. They could say, just like we say our ABC, they do it just like that. But Jesus saw their heart, and they didn't like that. So when Jesus preached for the very first time, you know what happened? They wanted to kill him. Mm -hmm. They wanted to kill Jesus. Yep. The religious leaders in that time, they did not like Jesus. You listening? They resented him. They didn't like him at that time. They didn't like what he was doing. The scribes and the Pharisees. So they always was trying to find a way to trap Jesus into saying stuff that he that they could use against him. So they just kept on and kept on and kept on. Then one day, the scribes and the, and the Pharisees, they just, they had it. They said, we cannot take this anymore we're going to plot against jesus on religious and political matters just to have him crucified he was crucified yes he was crucified But that was all in God's plan. But something else happened after the crucifixion, do you know? He came back to life. That's right. Yep, that is right. He was resurrected. 
on the third day after the crucifixion, he came back to life. He went back, he went up to heaven and soon one day we will go up to heaven to be with him. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, that's good. That's what we're striving yeah, for. You guys are learning. He he's going to prepare a place for us and we're going to go back to be with him. So that's what we're striving for. Yes. To go back to, with him in yeah. heaven. Yes, so you all should be understanding a little bit better now. Christmas is not about giving presents. So what we need to do is think more about God giving us the gift of the Holy Ghost. That is what's important. Christmas time is not about all of this gift giving. You guys, you guys understand. I know you came in this earlier, you know, asking about the gifts. It is not about gift giving. It's not about what your mother and your father can buy for you or even what your grandparents can buy for you. Or even when you guys get a little bit older that you can get to have your own job and buy for yourself, buy presents and buy whatever your clothes and shoes. It's not about that. It's, it's, this is about Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season. He came. God gave his only begotten son to die for our sins. So this is what we need to do. We need to get in a mindset that you are thinking about others. There are so many people in this world that's less fortunate than us. People don't have food to eat. They don't have a home to live in. So this, you need to be thinking about how maybe you can help them and show forth the love of God that one day somebody might say, hey, Zola, what is this God? Who is this God? How, how, how can I get to know him? How can I be saved, Leilani? Amaji? That's what we want to do. We want to show forth the love of God so that it will bring people to want to know him for themselves. Let me share something else with y'all before you go. Because y'all got to understand that we have to do this not just on Christmas, but every day is a gift from God. Now do me a favor. Take a deep breath. Now let it go. Now take a deep breath. I'll let it go. That was a gift from God. Do you know that? Yes, that's that was a, for you to be able to breathe. You see, you listening. You can see your hands. You have hands. Look at those nice clothes y'all got on. Those are gifts. Those are gifts from God. Just like the gift of the Holy Ghost, the comforter that helps guide us in this life. So that we can make it to eternal life. That's what the Holy Ghost does. That's so we got to do this all year long. Be thankful for our gifts and be willing to give to others. Every day. Every day. Y'all think about all the families at BCA, all the testimonies that happened this year. We had some powerful testimonies this year. Oh, yes. Yes, we did. Yes. I remember. I'm Lyndon Givens and this is my testimony. On January 1st, 2022, my cousin Kenzie and I asked Auntie and Granny if we could go outside to ride our bikes in our coder set. They normally don't allow us to go out without them sitting outside to watch us, but we kept on asking them until they said yes, because it would be right out. At first, we were just riding halfway up the street, but then I decided I wanted to ride all the way up to the top and back. Kenzie decided to continue riding only halfway. I put my headphones on and I started riding up the street. Halfway up the street, I heard Kenzie calling my name faintly because I had headphones on. I couldn't understand what she was trying to say, but she pointed to the side of the road and I saw two dogs. I dropped my bike out of panic and the dogs ran towards me, barking and growling. They continued coming towards me and growling. I got scared and I started taking a few steps back and the dogs started running towards me. As I started running and screaming, I, start, I saw Kenzie bolt down the hill as fast as her bike could carry her to get help. I ran into my neighbor's backyard, hoping someone would hear me screaming. The dogs were jumping on me and I had nothing to defend myself with but my hands. As they continued to growl, I tried to push them off while keeping my hands up to protect my face. As I was doing that, I heard my family screaming my name. I was yelling back, but they couldn't hear me. 
they saw my bike in the road. My auntie ran up the, the road and she saw me in the backyard. She told me to stay still. She started yelling and moving around, hoping the dogs would come toward her. She turned her back so they would not attack her in her face. As the dogs continued to bark and growl around her, she told me to slowly move from behind the house. I came from behind the house, shaking and crying. By this time, my granny came up the road in her car and my mommy came up the road, confused, because she heard everyone yelling my name, but she couldn't get out of the room because the door was jammed. I also saw my granny's neighbor come up the road trying to help with a broom. After I was safely back home, an ambulance was called to check me out to ensure that no ma major damages had happened because of the scratches. I, re I received on my arms while trying to protect myself. Because of God's grace and mercy and the blood of Jesus that covered me, the scratches the dogs made on my arm did not break the skin. Thank you, Jesus. The paramedic workers were expecting to find the worst because of the nature of the dogs. When I walked out of the house towards them, there was a look of amazement on their faces, as though they were thinking, was this the same child that was attacked by the two dogs? I am a walking miracle because they expected the worst, but God brought forth the best. Animal control was called and they shared with me a story about a child that had been mauled by the same type of dog that attacked me. They too were amazed of how I walked away with a few scratches. Animal control assured my mom and granny that they would patrol the neighborhood for the next 10 days to locate the dogs. We are informed that the dogs were never found and maybe the owners had taken them away or kept them inside the house because of animal control looking for them. I give all the honor, glory, and praise to God for his shield of protection over me. With the devil meant for evil, God turned it around so I could be a witness of his saving grace and protecting power of his blood. Lord, I just want to thank you. Hi, my name is Christina Eppinger and this is my son Jai and we're here to share um, a part of his testimony today. So as many of you know, back in 2018, Jai was diagnosed with lupus um, and since then, We've been doing a lot of going back and forth to the doctor, to, at Duke, um, hospital visits, doctor's appointments, tests, blood work, imaging, just back and forth a whole bunch uh, for f four years now. And it's been trying, it's been hard in a lot of ways, um, but we both can say that God has been with us and he's never left us. Um, Jai has been on, I think, at one point, he was on about seven or eight medications at one time, six to eight medications, I'll say. And uh, from the beginning, I've always wanted him to come off of those medications because they were high risk medications. And I just didn't. That's not what I wanted for him. Um, and so I've been discussing it with doctors and over the years, he come off one and he come off another and then he come off one, come off another. Um, even sometimes we would have a hard time and take him a long time to come off certain ones, but he came off of them. But there was one medication in particular um, that was extremely high risk and I didn't want him on it for as long as he had been. And so I had been discussing with the doctors and saying, hey, you know, I keep telling y'all every time I come, I don't want him on this medicine anymore. Um, 
the lupus, you know, is no longer in his body. His blood work is clear. And I really, really want him off this medicine. I want him to start coming down. So back in August, we got our fifth rheumatologist um, since he has been going through this. And this was my first time meeting her. And one of the first things I told her is that I want him to come off this last high risk medication. And so she, of course she told me, you know, she understands and she wanted to do blood work and all that, which all the other doctors had told me to. And so I told her, I said, that's fine. I said, we do blood work every time we come. We do testing every time we come. So he did his blood work. Um, he did his echocardiogram. He did his breathing test and everything came back clear. No signs of lupus, all organ functions good. Um, breathing test good, everything perfect. And so, um, I was waiting because I always look at the blood work and the results myself before they even call me. But on August the 29th, she sent me a my chart message letting me know that Jai would be able to come off of his last high risk medication. And we were ecstatic, so excited um, because the medication is actually an injection and um, that he has to get and neither one of us like doing it. Neither one of us. <laughs> so I'm so grateful um, for everything that God has been doing. It's so many more details to it. If you ever want to know, just come ask us and we'll tell you. <laughs> Some people know the ins and the outs. Um, I, I would be here all day long if I really told you everything that has happened. But I'm just in awe and amazed at how God has continued to bless Jai and to keep Jai and to heal Jai. And if you look at him, if you talk to him, if you hang out with him and you watch him, you wouldn't know he's been through anything you wouldn't know. And I'm grateful for that. Um, he plays as normal, you know, he, he eats as normal. He can move as normal. He can open doors. He can open jars. He can jump, he can flip, he can shoot the basketball as normal. And these are things that they said he probably wouldn't be able to do as normal. So I'm grateful. God is so good. He gets all the glory and you feel good. Yeah. You feel real good. <laughs> he feels good. So we, we praise God and we thank God. And I'm just excited to see what God continues to do in Jai's life. Wait a second, let me brag on my God. He the truth, I ain't just telling y'all. You can count it, he never took a loss. And if I'ma tell it, I gotta tell it all. Hold on, wait a second, let me brag on my And my name is Archie Owens, and I thank God for his protection. Because one day I was at on my job, and I was waiting for my bus to go home, and the bus it came late. I decided within my mind that I was going to catch the city bus and going home. I seen this gentleman, he realized that he was watching me. Uh, I got, uh, got up. He, uh, he got up too. So I just got up and started walking to go catch the bus. As I was walking, he, the guy started walking behind me. And, and then I started realizing, hey, this guy is up to something. And as fast as I was walking, he would walk. He, I was walking, he kept on trying to intimidate me by what he was saying. And so I got out my phone and I said, maybe I'm gonna call uh, 911. I didn't want to show him that I was nervous, but I was nervous, so I put my phone back in my uh, in my coat pocket, and so and zipped it up and started walking. And then I said, I realized he still was uh, coming behind me because he was trying to jump up in front of me. He was walking, and then he would jump up in front of me and and try to intimidate me. So I decided that I was going to start hollering and help, 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 help. To, to get some attention to the situation that I was, uh, as to what was going on. I found out later on too that it was, I, the, my co-workers had, had caught it on camera. 
Because the next day they, they, they told me, Archie, why didn't you come up to the, come, come up to the building and we would have let you in and we would have uh, uh, helped you with the situation. But I didn't know that they were at the, uh, in the building. I didn't know if anybody else was in the building. So I, I didn't think about that. So as I crossed the street, I got over into the uh, parking lot of uh, the medical arts building. And then as uh, he physically assaulted me, he t grabbed my coat and then I realized he's, he's trying to grab my coat. And so I started wiggling myself, uh, trying to get away from him, I, but I couldn't really get away from him as quick as he was gra trying to grab and zip down my coat. And he went inside my, the inside of my coat where my, my phone was and grabbed my phone out my uh, jacket. So I realized that he was doing this so I started, I started hollering help. I was, I continued to holler, help, 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 help. Look, somebody help me, somebody help me. And so about this time, a lady was coming up to take her children home. And she seen the guy attacking me. And she said, no, I seen him, I seen him. I seen him do what, what uh, he, the gentleman saying he, that the guy did to him, took his phone. And then there was another guy that came up and said, what was, what's going on? I said, the guy just took my phone. He, just, he ran right up the street because he was running up uh, towards the police uh, department. And the guy, the guy said, well, I, I go get it. And he took off behind him to try to get the phone. And then so when he took off behind him to try to get the phone, the guy threw the phone, tried to throw it un, uh, up under in the gutter but it didn't fall in the gutter, so the guy, he, they got the phone and brought it back to me. And so, I, but I thank God that he protected me. Later, after I found out that the guy, he had uh, other charges against him, he, 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 he was arrested for those charges too. And so when I found out that he was arrested for those charges, the I thank God for how he, protected me and how God watched over his word because every morning I uh, get up and I pray and ask the Lord for, to lead me and guide me and protect me and uh, by reading Psalms 91 uh, and asking God to protect me and God watches over his word and his word don't word, word do not fall, fall to the ground and I thank God for that Lord I just want to thank you So what did y'all learn today? I know y'all learned something, because I learned something, that y'all are listening to mm -hmm. Sunday School. Have y'all learned anything? I learned that it's, Christmas is not uh, just about um, presents. It's about our families and Jesus and how he made us. Amen. Amen to that. Zola, did you learn anything? I learned that you think it's that Christmas is not about just for presents. It's that you can do things with your family and you can enjoy God with your with your own parents, presence of your life. Yes. Right. That's good. Did you well learn said. something? I learned that I learned something like Leilani said. Just because it is fun to get presents, but what's important is getting the the gift of Jesus Christ. Yes, that is good. Oliver, did you learn anything today? Mm -hmm. I, I learned something. I learned that God has been very, very good to me. Wow. Yes, he has. I'm so proud of you. Can you still buy us just one president? This child here. Oh Ooh, George, you know I'm going to tell mom and dad. My goodness. We buy y'all toys all year long. How about this? I got an idea. I got some chores for y'all to do. 
I got some pine straw, some pine cones, and some rakes, and I'll make a list for y'all to do. So then we can talk about buying some toys. Then. That's a do good idea, Grandma. I know it is. You can make a list of chores we can do, and most, most, most importantly, how much you gonna pay us? Mm, pay, pay. I will make a list. We will talk about the pay. No. Pay. The negotiations. No. Mm 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 mm. I'm I'm glad we don't have to do any chores to get the gift that God gives us. Wow, that's a good one. You too, you think the same way, Zola? That's good. Okay, yeah, well, I am, I'm about a little bit hungry. I what you think? I'm all this learning, yeah, I'm hungry too. Y'all do. Mm -hmm. I have worked myself up an appetite. Well, I'm going to go check on the food. Y'all ready to eat? Okay, yes, y'all can learn how to cook as well. It's more than light, it's more than a tree, more than the presence underneath. It's not just a feeling, it's not just a season, it's hope for the broken in a world that needs healing. Cause Jesus has come, let's welcome the King, lift up your voice with me and sing unto us a light has been given unto us a savior is born peace on earth and a brand new beginning so unto you be praised evermore all that was lost can be restored the father Open heaven's door The earth will rejoice 